able to at night or in the morning, whatever, write down three things that you're grateful for is such a powerful like habit to get into. And it, it really puts things, things into perspective. So how important, you know, is, is that for you now that you, you know, you're able to practice and everything and moving that into life beyond, right. I mean, keeping that attitude of gratitude, is that, that, that rhymes. Um, nice. Is that like, uh, is that hard to do? Or are you just in this like habit of um, finding things you're grateful for? And, and what can you say to everyone who kind of takes advantage of those little things like we were talking about, even if it's in daily life? Yeah, I would say kind of like you mentioned, I'm doing these uh, gratitude posts on on Instagram right now. And I started that at the beginning of the year, but I've been trying to do what you said, just writing three things down, like journaling wise Mm -hmm. before that. And so doing it on social media has just been a way of like accountability and also just kind of realizing, you know, my story or maybe what, what I'm thinking. I wasn't, I feel I may not have been vulnerable enough during that process and people just saw me as this light. And so I'm keeping that light. I'm keeping that gratitude, but I'm also being real and kind of, you know, showing people my emotions but also saying like even though I'm doing this now and it wasn't as bad as it was I still feel it and I'm I'm still very thankful and I have a big sense of gratitude for other things in my life and I think uh not gonna lie I think the first year just in remission I was struggling you know coming back to practice I was very grateful and like you said just the warm-up just being there I was super happy and it was very genuine and kind of took it for granted and now I won't anymore kind of feeling Mm -hmm. but it was hard because I couldn't physically do some of those things so it was lots of questioning like why is this so hard or I wish it was this and I think I just kind of had to you know feel that and then kind of take a snap into back into reality and just say kind of go back to it all being like well at least I'm just grateful to be here and I think I just kept reminding myself that like I got to get one percent better every day you know that's so what my coaches are telling me, just what's next? Like, I may not do this now, but maybe I can tomorrow and just keep work at getting, keep working at getting better. And that was just kind of my mindset and my goals throughout it. And as to where now getting back to the gratitude thing, what's really helped me is like you said, making it a habit. I think I've always felt it. And I think everyone's grateful whenever you really stop and think about it. But I don't think people realize that they're not taking time to be thankful for things like that all the time because they haven't made it a habit. I know they are, but I think it's, you start to feel it more, the more you vocalize it or the more you write it down. So yeah, I definitely recommend, you know, writing it down, just saying it out loud at the beginning, really make it a habit. And I think now, you know, I could complain about a problem. I don't like complaining. I don't like going on rants, but I do feel more of the sense that I feel like I can now because I say it, I feel it, I get it done, I get it out there. And then I always, it's become a habit to say, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm, yeah. you know, right now I'm, I'm quarantined at, at school, not because I have COVID or anything, yeah. but just precautions here. And, uh, but I'm like, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy we're still in school. And I think it's a big thing if no matter what's going on in life, no matter how bad things may get, you always have something that you're grateful for. And that mm-hmm. that's just a new outlook of life. I, I hope I never lose. So. Yeah, absolutely. It, it unlocks these, these uh, feelings of happiness that you don't otherwise, you know, tap into. And as athletes, yeah. like you said, you're always hungry for more. And, um, you know, I, I could definitely see how that would be an issue where you're like, okay, I'm here, but like, why can't I do this? Or why can't, you know what I mean? And I think, like you said, being able to put yourself into perspective, you know, realize where you came from and where you are now and, you know, like you said, get 1% better each day. And I think that's in and of itself, you know, life advice that people should heed, I guess. 